for the first time in the history of Karamoja, in more than 30 years, we have now able to generate seeds. And our expectation is that we may get up to 50 metric tons of seed in this investment. So what is it that we need? In fact, our modest estimate to do a modest work is about 2.5 billion in order for us to reach almost each and every district in at least a fair way and also be able to scale these technologies to the farmers. So they take in what we call foundation seed, which they get from, uh, from the institute here, the SADI, and then uh, they grow it and give to their members as quality declared seed. So we have a range of crops that we are supporting. That is, we have maize, we have sorghum, we have green gram, we have peas, we have coffee, uh, we have dates, we have palms, and we have olives. And all these uh, are going to end up in over uh, 30,000 farmers. The green gram, we have around 115 farmer groups who are going to benefit. Then, we, So we need more money into this to support this center. Uh, when we were last here, I think with His Excellency in Morulinga, we are told that the farmers were resisting artificial insemination. Today we are being told that the Nabuini can now not satisfy the demand, so they need our support. So that's why this Minister of Karamoja Affairs is very critical. Moving forward, we are looking at the perennial crops, we are looking at grapes, dates, we are looking at olives, we are looking at cocoa, such that this becomes coffee. a multiplication mm. center, even coffee for the people of Karamoja, for all the nine districts of Karamoja. We want really to go into commercial um, agriculture in this region too, such that we can chase new and uh, I think the government will have to give us more money to invest into this, uh, into this narrow center to ensure that farmers get very good and uh, quality seeds. <laughs> I'm not going to